Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool unofficial Windows version called Windows Vista C. Now this might sound familiar to some of you guys who saw my Windows XP C video that I did a while ago on this channel, but these are actually two completely unrelated projects that are created by different people. This one right here, Vista C, is actually made by the same guy who created Vista Lite, which I did a video uh, on a while ago on this channel. And what's cool about this release is it actually has a focus of including free and open source alternatives to a lot of uh, the Microsoft proprietary software that is bundled with Windows, things like Internet Explorer, Windows Mail, and even Windows Firewall and Windows Defender. There are open source alternatives to all of those programs and features uh, introduced in this release. It's actually pretty unique. One of the other cool things is it completely changes the theme and actually makes it look more like a build of Longhorn, specifically build 4074, which in many ways looks entirely different from Windows Vista. So there's a whole new visual style, a whole new theme, and open source software, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Now, the uh, installation process right here you guys can probably see looks identical to the regular release of Windows Vista. You're not going to see uh, a lot of changes until you actually uh, finish the installation and boot into uh, your desktop for the very first time. You won't even really see very many changes during the out-of-box experience. So what I'm going to do is actually let this operating system finish installing, setting up, and I will show you guys once we actually log in what all these changes are and how they affect the usability and uh, performance of this operating system. All right, so here we are on the desktop and right off the bat, you're going to notice a couple of changes that actually make uh, the visual interface here look a little bit more uh, like build 4074 and that starts down here with the taskbar. Now, I'm sure we all know that in Windows Vista, the taskbar is a lot darker. Uh, here in Vista C, it has been made uh, a lot lighter, and it's actually been made more transparent. You can actually almost see through it. Also, with the start button over here, this has been completely changed from the start orb that Windows Vista has to actually more of an XP-like start button. Um, now, build 4074 uh, looked similar to this. It did have a black background on the actual button, but the word start was missing, uh, and it was just the Windows logo. So so that's a slight change, but uh, still looks closer to Longhorn Build 4074 than obviously the final release of Windows Vista did. Now, these changes continue on when we actually open up the start menu here. You can see the start menu has been completely redesigned. There's actually been a couple of elements removed, mainly the user icon that used to be displayed up here at the very top and would change as you would mouse over your user folders. Now, if we open up an Explorer window, like say my computer here, you're going to notice that uh, the entire Windows Explorer interface is totally different and it looks uh, very very close if not identical to build 4074. Now the reason why like if you haven't really done a whole lot of research on the Vista development process you probably don't really know about Longhorn about build 4074 and kind of what actually happened during the development reset um, but uh, to give you the gist of it, build 4074 was a pre-reset build, so it was actually compiled before Microsoft reset Windows Vista development in 2004, so that is why a lot of these elements and just the entire design of Windows Explorer looks totally different in Vista today, in the final release of Vista. Now, I did a very in-depth series of videos on Windows Vista's development process. If you want to learn more about that, you can go ahead and check it out um, up in the cards. Um, but if you know what build 4074 is, yeah, this looks very, very close to it. Now, it might look like that the search bar, which is, you know, directly next to the address bar uh, in Windows Vista, has been removed, but that's actually not true. It is still here. It's just been made completely transparent, so you can't actually see it until you mouse up here and actually click uh, on the search box. Um, so yeah, the, the entire menu bar and the address bar have been made totally transparent. I can do the same thing with the address bar. If I want to manually type in, you know, C... Uh, and like browse to my you know C drive, I can still do that, but it doesn't look like there's actually a address bar or a search bar up here until you actually mouse up to it. Um, but this is how build 4074 looked. 4074 had a completely transparent menu and address bar. Now there are no new icons, but the author has actually modified the design of a lot of the buttons. 
Um, and you can see that evident with the back button up here. Now you might be asking yourself, is there a forward button? There is, but you just can't see it. That is again actually kind of hidden here. Um, so you can't actually see the forward button. And this was actually the case in build 4074. Again, 4074 didn't really have a forward button up here. There was only this big back button. Now the actual design of these buttons does look slightly different than in build 4074 but it's a very very good recreation also this button up here is literally not even a button uh, it does not do anything at all so that's just kind of there also the window controls as you can see have actually been made a little bit slimmer and the uh, minimize and maximize buttons have been redesigned uh, and you can see that even when we actually maximize the window you can see that the design of the uh, restore down button uh, has been changed as well. Uh, so that is Windows Explorer, definitely one of the major changes in this uh, release here, in this custom release of Windows. One of the other things that I mentioned earlier on in this video is that this OS actually utilizes a lot of open source software, and it actually replaces some of the existing Windows programs with open source software. Um, and we can see that if we go into the start menu here, now you'll notice that the internet and email shortcuts actually don't point to anything. Uh, now these normally in Vista point to Internet Explorer and Windows Mail by default. Both those programs have been removed uh, and these shortcuts have not actually been reconfigured, but there is still, if we go into all programs here, a web browser and an email client. The web browser is called New Moon, which is actually a fork of Pale Moon. And this actually completely replaces Internet Explorer. Uh, there is no Internet Explorer in this build whatsoever. Now it asks you when you open up the browser for the first time, if you wanna make it your default browser, because there's actually nothing set as your default browser right now. So if you press yes, uh, now when we go into the start menu, you'll see that New Moon has taken over the internet uh, shortcut here. Now the email client has also uh, been replaced as well. Now it's normally in Windows Vista Windows Mail, which is an updated version of Outlook Express, um, but there is no default email client. The shortcut does not point to anything. However, there is, if we go into all programs here, Mozilla Thunderbird, which is uh, Mozilla's email client. We can open this up. Now you could actually, if you went into default programs, you know, you could actually select this as your default mail client. Yes, those are two open source and free pieces of software um, that have replaced uh, two proprietary Microsoft pieces of software. But Internet Explorer and Windows Mail are not the only two programs that have been replaced with open source software. Windows Defender has also been replaced in favor of ClamWin, which is an open source antivirus software. Now there has been another application that has been replaced as well, but it unfortunately does not work uh, here in this specific release of Vista C, and that is MS Paint. So if we actually type MS Paint into the search bar here, uh, it will actually come up, but you'll see that icon is totally different, and that's because this is actually not MS Paint. The author has actually went into System32 and replaced the MS Paint file. If we right-click on this and go to Open File Location, you'll see that MS Paint uh, is actually Paint Ribbon, but it's just named MS Paint. It's in the same folder where MS Paint usually is. But when you run it, it actually does not work. And this is an issue that the author is aware of, so we can't really take a look at that, unfortunately, but um, that is the replacement for MS Paint that has been introduced. If we go into Start here and into All Programs, uh, if we go under Games here, 3D Pinball Space Cadet. And yes, this is the same 3D Pinball Space Cadet program that we all know and love from previous releases of Windows. Uh, and hey, if you guys want to know the really bizarre but true history uh, behind this piece of software and how its origins can actually be traced back to Doom, Yes, id Software's Doom, uh, the first person shooter game that I'm sure we all know and love as well. If you're interested in hearing about that, check out this video up in the cards. Uh, I made it a while ago and it's just a very, very unique uh, story. But uh, yes, 3D Pinball Space Cadet is here. Uh, it is fully functional, which is definitely uh, pretty awesome. So yes, that is actually an extremely nice addition. Obviously, like I said, Pinball was killed from Windows Vista. It is not in Windows Vista by default. So it's actually nice that the author has uh, brought it back here for us. Now, last but not least, there is one more uh, piece of software that has been added, and that is actually XBMC, yes, and this actually, from what I can tell, also replaces uh, Windows Media Center. You can see there's no shortcut for Windows Media Center in here. If we go to computer, and let's do a search here for Media Center, um, you can see that the only thing that comes up is XBMC. So yes, if you wanted to use XBMC, you have that 
uh, included in here for you. Now there have also been a couple of other programs that have been removed from the system. One of them is actually Notepad. You can see that Notepad actually when you try to launch it from run, uh, it says it can't find it if you go into all programs, accessories where it normally is. There's nothing that actually replaces Notepad, but there is still WordPad. I mean, WordPad is still here. Uh, so you can still launch that and that's how you can write, you know, things if you needed to. And also one of the bigger visual elements that has been removed is the sidebar. You can see there is absolutely no sidebar, no gadgets, nothing. Uh, that has been entirely removed. Now, Build 4074 did have a sidebar. It looked very different from the sidebar that was introduced in Windows Vista, um, but neither of those iterations of the sidebar are present here. It has been removed entirely, um, which is definitely a, you know, probably the biggest visual cut from the system. But overall, aside from the sidebar, if you ignore that, um, especially with Windows Explorer, it definitely looks very, very close to build 4074, and I gotta hand it to Alex, who's the developer who actually made this. This is a very, very good recreation of build 4074. So there you have it, guys. That is a look at Windows Vista C uh, in all of its glory. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do every single week, multiple times per week on this channel. Uh, I also want to give a huge thank you to Alex for actually providing me with a copy of this project for me to showcase for you guys here on video. If you guys want to go subscribe to his YouTube channel or check out some of his other work, I'll leave his uh, link down below. Uh, as always, guys, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and for your continued support here on this channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.